up everybody? Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com from Wade. Hey, the Machine Lobliner. YouTube videos are amazing, but I need your help. I'm sure you get questions like this very often. I think mine is different. Also, if you can not mention my name, that would be much appreciated. Well, I didn't mention his name, did I? I just mentioned his first name. Anyway, a video would be nice. My face would be blurred. Also include pictures for you. I've been working on about nine months now. Hmm. Okay, so my log says, and my arms are normally developed and so are my legs. If you don't think my arms are developed enough for where I am in stage of building muscle, please tell me. I want the straight truth. My chest is just a scrawny chest, and it looks stupid compared to my arms and legs. I have no idea why it's so much smaller. Maybe I'm just too hard on myself. I don't know. Could you take a look and give me your opinion on what I should do? Thanks. Love the stuff you put out. It really helps. Hope to achieve your chest someday. Please evaluate everything you see problems and what I need to improve on. Not sure what to do with my chest. I do bench press, inclines, flies, pec decks, etc. What do you recommend to bring up my lagging chest? You know what? You look fine, dude, and your chest will come up in time. Um, here's what I think. Building up your chest like building up anything else. You know, some things come in better and faster for some, and some things for others. For me... What's really funny is, it's not funny, uh, my back used to be my weak point. Now it's probably my strength above my chest. Um, my shoulders were a weak point. Now they're a strength. My chest was never a weak point. That's the one thing I was given. My arms are always fine. Now all I do is get clowned on from my small ass arms because my back and chest and shoulders outpace the growth of my arms. Your chest will grow. What I recommend you do is keep a balanced training program. I always point to the training program in fatlossfactorbook.com. That's my book. Linked in the description below because it's good. It has a lot of variables. It changes up every four weeks. And I think that's a good way to train. One thing you could do is for four to six week spurts, do chest twice a week. Van and I are doing that for every body part right now to really shock our system. Um, but what you could do is do Monday. Monday's International Chest Day, so you better be doing fucking chest! <sighs> Sorry. So Monday, go in and do bench press, go do incline press, dumbbell, dumbbell bench press, flat bench, do some flies and do some cables and throw another body part if you want. Thursday, come back in, do chest but mix it up. Do flat bench press, incline dumbbell, basically throw off the movements, throw your body a little various. Or you can do another one where you do all compounds one day and all machines and cables the next day. There's many ways to do it. Just look at different programs and build with it. One thing that might also help you build that base is a nice 5-3-1 split um, that Eric Helms uses a lot, which is a powerlifting split that will build that base. That's what built my chest. Um, what I built in powerlifting, my back sucked when I powerlifted, but my ass and my quads got big. Calves didn't grow worth a fuck. And my chest grew really, really well. So... Try that 5-3-1 thing to put on a base. Maybe do 6 to 12 weeks of that and then move into a hypertrophy routine or do something like Lane Norton's fat or do the 4-week routine in, four, the 12-week routine, which is 3 4-week routines in my book, FatLossFactorBook.com. What you got out of that is a lot of nothing, meaning that every program works and some people just grow at different rates. You look fine, dude. For 9 months of training, you look much better than I did at 9 months of training. More power to you. Props. Keep doing it. Don't give up. Kick ass. And email me with anything you need. Mark Loveliner, TigerFitness.com. Peace out, playa.